www.88beats.com Beats Graphics Graphics Studio Design Studio Design We do it all, baby. All right, hey guys, this is Bones. I'm going to do a quick tutorial here on um, creating a CD cover or a album artwork for like, say, if y'all upload singles on SoundCloud or if you upload something on, on iTunes or something like that and you want a CD cover or, a, or an album cover or a single color, cover, whatever it is, I'm going to show you guys some basic stuff and show you where to start and some little effects going through it so you guys can create something professional. Okay, so getting going here, I have uh, Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to hit Control N. Now I'm going to assume that most of you guys know how to work Photoshop, so I'm just going to move kind of fast here. Um, CD covers. One thing to keep in mind, everybody wants to know the, the aspect ratios and, and the pixel size. Now there are one by one ratios, which means it needs to be equal height with the width. So what I usually do is I make them at 2000 by 2000. Now this is going to be a a large size when you upload to SoundCloud or something like that. Usually they use 800 by 800 or 600 by 600. When you go to print CDs, say you want to go through like disc make uh, disc makers or someone like that, they will need uh, I can't I can't say for sure what it is, how big of a file it is. You might have to visit their website, but they will need a 1 by 1 ratio. So this is how I do it, Two, 2000 by 2000, resolution at 300, and I'm going to hit OK. This pops up. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some helping guidelines here, center up everything. Now I'm just going to do, um, I'm, what I'm going to do here is make a cover with Eminem. I got an Eminem background here. This is what I'm going to be using. We'll put that here. We'll scale this larger. It's okay if it's fuzzy. I mean, I'm assuming that if you guys have some professional pictures taken, um, your your raw image file is going to be much larger than this one that I found, and that's because I got this off Google. Uh, if you guys have a professional photo of yourself, the raw file should be much larger. Which is the the larger the file is, the better quality you're going to get. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to do some cool color, like some simple cool color correction here. I'm going to go up to image, adjustments. Let's go to curves. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the blacks like so. Brighten up the other parts. That's a little too harsh. Just a little bit. Nothing, nothing too fancy. And I'm going to change the overall color of this. I'm going to go to color balance. Uh, let's see. I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this cover yet. I'm going to do like more of a more of a cool tint, so like bluish red, like that, more purple. Yeah, it looks kind of cool there. All right, so there's that. Um, now let's start with the background. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out the background completely now. If you guys do have a professional image of yourself and you want to cut out the white background, uh, it's a very simple tool. You go to this erase eraser here. You hold the click down. Go to Magic Eraser Tool. Or actually, no, 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 no. Background Eraser Tool. My bad. My apologies. Background Eraser Tool. Now, I got mine. You want this fairly large. Put it at like 3,000 pixels or so. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to target an area. Now, if I click right here where this little plus sign is, it's going to take the white elements and it's going to remove them from the image like this and I'll show you right there see how it removed it removed his thumb a little bit here and his forehead okay the tolerance is too high we're going to hit tolerance we're going to move it down to like 25 percent or so do it again that looks a little bit better it's still cutting out some because there's a lot of brightness that's better right there that, that I can work with that so we're going to remove that now we got no background I wanted to remove that because I want to put a gradient behind him. So I got my background channel here. I'm going to put a gradient behind him. <sighs> Let's see. Nothing too fancy. Just I just wanted to have a different effect there. Okay, so 
there's that um, next part let's put let's put his name over here on the side you can use whatever font you want I'm gonna go through my fonts none of this is is pre thought out I'm doing this all just kind of off the top here I'm just gonna do whatever I think looks cool at the moment and then you know, something simple like that looks pretty cool and what he does with his E's is he flips them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing here. Actually, I'm going to make this all bold now that I think about it. I want to do something that matches his style, you know. He usually does stuff like that. I'll space that. And I'm going to go ahead and make another E here. And I'm going to transform that to be backwards. Boom, just like that. All right, so that's how he usually... How he usually does his name, whatever. With most most of you guys are familiar with Eminem. I'm gonna space this a little bit more here. There we go. That looks better. All right, so. I got his name up here, and another cool thing with removing the background from him is that I could put this text behind his head and whatnot, and it's kind of like, you know, you see where his thumb's gone. I could take more time there, but since this is just tutorial, I'm not going to worry about it. So let's put an effect on his name here. I'm just going to do some simple stuff. Like that. And I'm going to put a gloss on here. If you guys don't know how to do this gloss, like I'm doing right here, then watch my other tutorial. I'll have a link to that one in this description, and I'll show you guys step by step how you can do that gloss effect right there. Like I said, I'm just kind of just messing around here. I'm not doing nothing too serious. So I'm just doing some stuff so you guys can kind of get an idea of how how you guys can make a CD cover or whatever. And then I'm just going to come up with a name here. Let's just call this, like, let's say he's making a, you're making a cover for your next single and you named it, you know, let's just name it one of his, one of his songs, Rap God. We're gonna bring that above him. It lays over. I'm gonna change this text. Now the main the main key with doing CD covers is getting the right dimensions on your stuff. Now most people don't know what size to make things, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So it's good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and move his his name down a bit. Move it like right here. Move this one up actually. Drop shadows help a lot when you're making uh CD covers because it keeps stuff separated. I've seen a lot of people just mesh a whole bunch of crap together and you can't really read what's going on and it's kind of hard to see everything so putting a fine drop shadow like that keeps this above other layers it kind of makes it pop more so that's kind of that's kind of it for a for a cd cover now another thing i like to do is over this whole this whole cover here is i'm going to put another gloss now watch my gloss tutorials on how to do this stuff because this gives you a cool effect for you know, for putting on the computer or whatnot, makes it look like it's got a shiny new look to it, you know. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. That's how you make a, a simple album cover or a song cover or whatever it is that you're, that you're trying to do. Um, just simple effects there for you guys. I moved kind of quick. I have other tutorials on how to do this stuff, like the gloss effect. I'll have other tutorials on how to crop images and the backgrounds and whatnot like that. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you have questions, please post them below. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with with Photoshop. If you're a musician and you're trying to do this stuff on your own and try to save money, then I can definitely help you guys with tutorials. So just, just shoot me emails and whatnot, man, and, uh, and I'll keep dropping videos that you guys want. All right? Thanks for watching.